And I unmuted us this time. Welcome back for part two of Harvest Valley. Burning wheel game about farming and love. Uh, and harvest goddesses. You know, the usual. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Fantastic. All right. So last time was summer. And now we're moving into autumn. Boom, boom. It's been a few months. Um, the uh, a whale washed up on shore, it breached itself. Oh, and... I totally forgot about that part. I changed all my instincts or my my um, sorry beliefs about that because I totally forgot. No, yeah, and, and people like all the people, you know, the entire town got together to harvest a whale because you know it's a big deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I assume all of you also got involved yeah yeah um also the whale was found to have two baby cows cow calves and it's uh you know in his tummy mm-hmm. on shore um and the people are just going to harvest those two mm-hmm. uh do you guys say anything about that or is that fine no i i mean can we save them it's possible. We have to try. So you want to try and convince people to uh, save the whales? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. How about Estevan? Good God. Estevan, do you want to save the whales? <laughs> I don't know what I want. <laughs> look at your beliefs and instincts. Uh, let's take a look. Um, how much... How, you said we had how much... Uh, how much downtime there was that we we went over between about two months this is during that downtime okay gotcha i'm just i'm making sure i mark it because i didn't sure i mean i I just don't feel like it's there Mm. for estevan to 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 try to make this a thing all right so just uh just ashlyn's arguing to save the whales like what would you say? Just that we should do it, or because this is like a pile of cash. Like this, these are cash dice to the city. These babies, these baby whales. If we manage to set them free, and they can go and live their lives, they'll grow up to be big whales that can come back and renew the cycle. Okay, so you're arguing that the baby whales will grow up and then be hunted? Yeah, sure. Okay. So that's, how, that's, that's, um, that's how it works. So the mayor's like, oh, Ashlyn, I understand you have a good heart, but there's a lot of whales. These, these two whales don't matter. Every whale matters. Every, every everything matters. We, mm. we if we manage to save them, then it will not only help us, it will help future generations. Then it will make even more more whales. Okay. Um hmm. I don't feel like I should make you roll during downtime. <laughs> okay. So if you just want to take let's take the time to convince everybody, we'll say that you do. That definitely is an Ashland thing to do, I think. I also want to say that if you're convincing like the town, the town includes me. Yeah. Uh yeah, so Esteban, what is Esteban doing? You understand that why we need to save these these whale babies so there can be more whales. Don't you? You know a lot about animals. Not about whales, but Ashlyn, if you... You are blessed. And if you tell me to do something, I will do it. Then let's go save the whales. Perfect. <laughs> um, I, I feel like to convince 
Estevan, you might have to roll. I mean, I'm not the GM, so I'm not sure that I have like authority over deciding when rolls happen, but I feel like it's there. Mm-hmm. I, as a player, am very willing to agree. I think Estevan might need like a small push. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, uh, I don't want there to be rolls during downtime. Uh, so we'll just say that if you want to add persuasion or something to your your list of tests that you get, uh huh, that's fine. Do I actually know how to persuade yet? I don't think so. Nope, I don't. Um. But yeah, um, Adam, I'll let you decide like if you are resentful about this or not. But like I said, I don't want there to be necessarily mechanics in downtime. Don't engage mechanics. This all happened in a flashback. Yeah. <laughs> Burning Wheel does not do flashbacks. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> uh. And also, I think that like it's reasonable that she would convince the entire town and also that you would like still choose to be the outsider and not help. Yeah, I mean that's true too. You could have not been convinced, but ha- enough of everybody else was convinced that it didn't matter. That's true. Um Should we die of fate, me, then, to see which side I end up on? Sure, that seems reasonable. Sure. If Do you want high or low? You want to leave it to chance. Low. So on a one, two, or three, or is it a one or two, or a one? Like, how stubborn do you feel? Uh, I'm not feeling particularly stubborn at all. So I feel like right. it, it's a 50-50. Sure, so one, two, or three. You'll mm-hmm. help? Yes. Oh. That's not how I do this. Oh, you don't help? Oh, dang. All right. Wow. But, you know, the whales are cut from their mother's womb. And the people, you know, get ropes. And they all work together. And pretty soon the baby whales are playing in the lake. Perfect. Um, This is good. Um, the same day, uh, mm-hmm. someone steals all the clocks from the diner in town. While people are saving the whale, in fact, all the clocks in town are gone. That's weird. Yeah. And I think people are like, oh, who would do this? Um, It's not really clear. But time passes and the mystery isn't solved. And time passes. And right now, uh, we're going to pick up play. It's about a week before the Harvest Festival. Um, The fields are, you know, full full of, of grain but they're not going to stay that way because people are right now people are harvesting them to try and get ready you know to have the opulent supply of food that's necessary mm-hmm. for the actual festival you know for the feasting and they actually have something to celebrate because it almost didn't happen right like mm-hmm. um if if you guys hadn't convinced the uh the town singer to sing to the crops it would be a very sad festival this year. But, um, yeah, everyone's uh, picking crops. Does any of you have beliefs about crops that need to be taken care of? Um, once I have harvested my crops, I need to give them to people, which mm. I may need to make a role to actually harvest my crops, seeing as I, <laughs> I still haven't actually learned to be a farmer yet. <laughs> right. Um, so why do I we, do uh, have um, beliefs about harvesting crops. I wanted to get in touch with the townsfolk and 
um, see how I can help. Sure. So the way I see it happening is that people just go from farm to farm and help harvest. Does that seem fair? Or do you guys think it's a, a more of a every man for himself harvesting I, I their totally own crops? I feel it's a, it's, a, it's a community effort. Like uh, they go from farm to farm and and harvest together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's you know that kind of feeling. But I wasn't sure. Maybe mm -hmm. you guys wanted the... Uh, the feeling of you know individually pulling every plant out of the ground. Um, yeah. yeah, I feel like so. you you use the um, the reaching over into people's um, farms as an opportunity to invite people to your feasts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's so also I like a, a it's also a good chance for like people who are used to having one type of crop um you know get experience with a different type of crop especially since mm -hmm. all of the all of your plots are determined by the harvest goddess so you know yeah yeah, yeah. so let's let's do uh Esteban's first i'm curious um do you have a crop to share with the town i do not okay so your herd just has not produced this year. Oh, I, I thought by crop you meant like, like vegetables or fruits oh, or things no. like that. Oh like, no! Um... Uh, no, I think I have. Um... And I think Ishmael gave you his goats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I have. Uh, wool that needs to be sheared. Okay, that sounds good. All right, that's legit. Mm -hmm. So, I think you have a couple of choices here. You can go to the mayor and ask to be assigned to a work gang. You could find a family who is, you know, working together and going from farm to farm as a team and join that family, or um, you can try and give your, your wool to the town somehow, or find people to, you know, take the wool from your sheep for you. If you don't think you can harvest it yourself. I think he can harvest it himself. I, I think... He can harvest it himself. I don't think he can like spin it. Okay. Um, also, I'd like to get Esteban connected to a new character since we're moving into a new arc. Since sure. we're after the trait vote and Ishmael's left and everything. So I want to introduce myself to um, what do you call people who who like spin yarn or who would work with wool or is it not just spinners? Uh, Might be spinners. I think I mean, it's spinners. I, I, it's I like, what's the word uh, for just clothing in general? Weave uh, textiles. Textiles. Textile making and villages. Hmm. I, Let's find out. I, I feel like it would be like a, a, a weaver would probably also, but there could be a separate spinner other than a weaver. You know what I mean? Yeah. So first you sort it, and then you wash it, mm -hmm. and you beat it. Mm -hmm. Then you dye it. Mm -hmm. Then you get a combing thing. Mm hmm. Then you spin it. Yep. I feel like Estevan's ability to work stops after the washing. Okay. Yeah, me too. Because like, you just have a pile of 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 sheep wool. You're trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I feel like you're taking to the dire then. Yeah. Um, let's see okay. here. Let's What's see. their name? What's their uh, disposition? What's their... Um... All right. Damn, making NPCs... I got to tell you NPCs. Uh... Mm -hmm. that's, that's your job. That's literally your job. Um, well, it says... It's my job. Um... We are here if you want help. I always want to help. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, can you roll a fistful here. of d6s and consult my blades in the dark book is that, is that <laughs> really for that stuff? Uh, I just happen to have my blades in the dark book here and there's some pretty good NPC generation stuff right. in there that's true I'm going to name this guy Anthony it's a good name um, I kind of wanted him to be a guy too I'm not sure why Anthony is gruff and he always likes to wear thick, sturdy clothing. Um, he, he runs to dire. He can really take the heat. Like nobody seems to be able mm -hmm. to withstand heat or cold as much as Anthony does. Mm -hmm. um, this big, stocky guy. Um, likes to drink a lot. Uh, so probably, yeah, you see him, he's drinking a bottle of hard liquor, that's a free liquor, when you come visit him. Um, but let's, let's take a roll first to like, get your wool off your sheet. Perfect. Uh, is this animal husbandry? Is that what the skill is for? Perfect. <laughs> I, I feel like animal husbandry works. Yeah, I mean, it should work, right? Let me just check real quick. The, <clears throat> the only other skill I could feel like comes even close is mending, which is like general peasantry stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's not quite animal husbandry. Um... I feel like caring for animals is definitely involved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to find out what else would be here on my Let's list. Let's just say uh, it's animal husbandry because we the stakes are that if you fail, um, like you're going to scare off some of your, your sheep and you have to collect them later. Okay, I like that. Okay. Um, let's see here. What's the abs for sheep? Um, oh, that's right. Um, it's probably abs one. Fair. I feel like sheep are more friendly than chickens and less violent and pigs and goats if you go with um what uh the weaving thing is to the ob of weaving wool like the ob of weaving wool as a weaver is two but right. it's probably mm -hmm. easier just to shear and wash it so i think that's Definitely, probably appropriate yeah. all right so ob yep. one Great, I'm going to spend one of my persona on it. Okay. And I really don't want to be unlucky. Oh, <laughs> you also have wises you... and stuff. Oh. Or were you trying to get that number of dice in particular? You know, it was routine for you either way, so... Yep. So maybe I mean, you okay. literally have gonna... animal husbandry wise true so you should, uh, should add that but before you roll again tell me everything that you want to fork in sure thing um animal husbandry wise for sure 
I think. I think that's it. Okay, just roll one die then. Did I? There you go. Good All enough. Right, so you keep your you keep your sheep from running away. Like some of them see the big knife for cutting them, and they get scared and they start running away. But then you use your your animal skills to convince them not to run away. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get your big pile of wool and you bring it to uh, Anthony. And you see Anthony, he's wearing this big cap. Uh, it's like covering his ears. It's like I think you can see it's it's got wool on it. Mm-hmm. On the yeah. inside. And he probably made this out of your sheep wool from last year. Probably. Um, has like, this been our only in- interaction um, that um, I just bring him wool or I just brought him wool last year? Yeah, even maybe last year was your first year. Like, how long have you had this flock? I feel like I feel like we haven't determined that really. Uh, so maybe this is a good time to find out, like, how long yeah. how long have you known him? Well, I... since you were a groom before you were a shepherd. Mm-hmm. Uh, how so I've had the you? horses for a while. Yeah. Right now I'm 19. I will... Okay. No, my birthday is um, during the summer turning festival, so I would have just turned 20. Okay. Which means I have to bump my age up. Uh, I feel like you probably had the horses first. So you've had this flock for less than five years, but it may not have been productive until the last year. Mm-hmm. I feel like I maybe got them the spring before last year. Uh, they're pretty new. I've only brought wool to him once before. Okay. Um, I feel like I had a pretty rushed year to get that all situated and ready. But back then I had a house. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Last year was a better year, I think. Um, hopefully this one will be better now that I have a house again. Yeah. So I don't think you have too uh, much connection with Anthony. Um, You probably just brought him the wool and he paid you. He's like, well, see you again next year. Mm -hmm. And now he's sitting on the porch of his, he's got like, you know, I don't think he has like a very fancy storefront. I think he lives a little bit out of town because the the dying process is really smells bad. And we Mm -hmm. don't want that in the middle of town. Um, so you, you get near, you can smell like the wax and the chemicals as you mm-hmm. get closer. And maybe that's why he drinks so much, but he's, he's sitting on like this, this wooden bench on his porch, just drinking as a, he sees you coming with, I don't know how mm-hmm. big is, are you, are you like carrying it in like a bundle or over your, like, so the way that I think about it is I maybe have like a wagon strapped to a horse and I've been leading the horse around um, just like you know how you lead horses around not riding it with like reins or just about you because it's a happy land happy horse (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah I like that better Uh, yeah it's just following me around Okay. And, and if it starts getting antsy or weird I can just hop on it because it's saddled but it's not okay. Cool. So Anthony, like, he raises his bottle of booze and he's like, ah, "Estevan, ah, you've brought me another load of wool. How's it going mm-hmm. for you big, this year?" Big bouncy cloud of wool in a yeah. little wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
So I have an in, I have a new instinct, which is whenever I meet a stranger, um, tell a weird story. Sure. I feel like Anthony is a stranger to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell him the story about some man um, who um, who goes on an adventure um, and goes out into the forest, falls into an ant hill, and loses his clothes. Goes back into their homeland. And I like, I kind of fantasy it up a little bit. Um, like I incorporate like elves and um, uh-huh. like he goes through like a dwarven mine at some point that's like cribbed from our, uh, from our um, dungeon adventures. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. Uh, do you want to check for destroy tongue? I see there's a destroy tongue skill. Yeah, I feel like there would be a storytelling skill too. Isn't there? Maybe this is just oratory. It's oratory. No, performance. I was almost thinking oratory as well. Okay. Well, I oratory is for cloud crowds. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I remember. I um, mean, are you trying? I could. To, I, I guess the question here, the question here, before we look too hard into it, true. is what are you trying to do? Yeah, do you have an intent? Story. Do you have an intent? I do not have an intent. Then okay. it doesn't matter. I think we're I'm just telling a weird story to to fill silence. And maybe Oh, I guess I want him I guess I want to get him on my good side and get familiar with him by telling like an entertaining story. Okay. I can see it being persuasion okay. in that case. Or sing. Uh, are you singing? Are you singing story? him? Or poetry. I mean, what kind mm. of story is this, man? <laughs> it's it's just it's the entire story of how he lost his clothes, except in the form of a limerick. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes, so start... yes, it's that. I'm I'm learning okay. limerick, limericking. Yeah. Right. Well, okay, we'll call that poetry. Um, you're just you're just starting to tell him this limerick. And yeah, um, you have yeah. You, you just that's just untrained for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, poetry is I would call it doggerel or crass verse. <laughs> <laughs> the base stat is will for poetry. Sure, Ob's one. You might actually do it. Doubles to two. Yeah, maybe. And if you fail, he's just going to be kind of weirded out. Yeah. That sounds completely accurate. Poetry. I, I think little... he actually won't understand what you're saying because you're talking too fast for him. Yeah. Okay, he's amazing. He's too drunk for this bullshit. Okay, I can't fork anything because it's a stat. Right. Yep. I'm not going to spend any earth on this. Okay. My base obstacle is one, mm-hmm. which will double to two automatically. Nice, oh, you got it. it. I have a friendo. Well, he's uh, more favorable towards you anyway. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think he laughs at your at your limerick. He says, "I know one's told me that." Estevan is a, is a poet, uh, a, uh, a word artist. A word artist. What, what inspired you to come up with such a tale? What does he say to that? Because um, where... I'm trying to think of, like... What would he lie that he got that from? Hmm. I think he, he just says that um, he says word artist. That's me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was walking around on day on the back of this horse, and um, uh, hours pass. You know, and um, thoughts begin to fill your mind, and. I, I kind of like fashion myself as like 
the the like wordsmith of limericks and things like that, I kind of b- bougie myself up. Sure. Um, so yeah, he laughs and he invites you to come sit with him and drink some of his alcohol. Mm-hmm. He says, "All right, come, Esteban. Let us discuss the the price for this fine wool you've brought." Excellent. I've got a treat for you as well, and I'm going to. I, I think I've gotten a pipe by this okay. point, and I'm going to. He he's going to give me some of his exquisite brown, yummy mm-hmm. liquor, and I'm going to give him some of my. Really nice, flowery, slightly um, psychedelic opium. Do you tell him what it is? Hmm. Okay. I don't think he wants to smoke opium. He's like, "Oh no, I stick to stuff I can drink." And he laughs. He says, well, it's "My the parents last time had I tried a drink opium." It was <laughs> People have drunk opium, and um, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think he says, uh, "My parents had a bad addiction to op- to opium when they were children." They told me, not children, but when they were younger. <laughs> <laughs> I was only five, <laughs> smoking it down in the mines. <laughs> But they didn't say I could drink, so. (laughs) Takes another swig. One leads to the other, I guess? Maybe? So, he doesn't want to smoke it, but... Dad judgment. Do you want to... Do you accept this? Yeah, I'm going to drink with him. Okay. He's going to be my new friend. Because I need a, a guy friend. Okay. Since Ishmael's gone. So let's see here. You're so, the very next person I saw. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he wants to... He's going to use this like as a lead-up to haggling. Okay. Uh, he, wa- he wants to make a fort test against you to see like, if he can... Uh, keep his wits and keep his adva- get an advantage on you. Nice. Uh, so I think versus Fort Test, and that'll be a uh, um, the winner gets a plus one to their haggling, and the loser gets a negative one. Is this perhaps a drinking versus test? Is that a skill? I think drinking is a skill. Uh, no, drunking is a skill. Drunking is a skill for dwarves. Drinking is a skill is it, is for... Drinking, is regular drinking? It is a skill. Drunking, drunking is a dwarven skill. Right, I know. That's what I was To oh, get so, drunk as yeah. loudly as possible. Drinking is a human skill to get... Get drunk and to stay know it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that seems fair. Yeah. It can be a drinking test if you, you want have, to uh, you get drinking your drinking. as a skill? I do not. Oh, okay. okay. Perfect. But maybe I would like to learn it. Sure. Maybe. Maybe. You, you can, can do get that. yourself off of the opium onto alcohol. Hopefully. <laughs> the much more socially acceptable drug. Mm-hmm. So it'd be Fort first Fort still. But you may start learning drinking. Drinking is Fort. I wanted to make sure of that. Mm-hmm. I almost thought it might have been like Fort and, and something will. else. Yeah, or something I, I like that. I can see it being Fort and Will, but just being straight Fort is fine too. Or make yeah. sense too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll roll for him. I feel like he cool. probably does have ranks in drinking. But... um, He, he doesn't mind showing it. He just wants, he wants to drink and not get too drunk. All right, so you meet the abs. Oh, that's a tie? It's a tie, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you have it's kind of confusing. a call? I think just nobody uh, nobody gets advantage, right? Yeah, I think that's fair. Unless I have a trait that I could break. 
uh, yeah, in his can, favor. You could do that. Let me see. Oh boy, bad influence. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to maybe break break it in his favor with bad influence. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to like get involved in um, bad decisions. Do you convince him to uh, smoke your pipe after all? Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he'll get a plus that. one. Yeah. So he'll get a plus one, and you'll take a negative one on well, your head. Not a negative chest. one, but a plus one. Oh, above. is it not? Uh, both you, you ways. Get, you you'll get plus one die, and he'll get plus one ob. You, you oh, never... it's plus one ah, my yeah. bad. You're right. You never subtract dice. Okay, you're unless right. Unless you have an injury. Right. Okay, so... I think he has only two dice of haggling. But he's going to get a third from the uh, winning the uh, test. So you have an OBS 3 haggling test. Excellent. Uh, let me see if I can fork anything. Yeah, and I think if you fail, it's going to be like you're just not going to. Like, it's not going to be a, a great trade for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fork in persuasion. Okay. And I think that's it. Sure. Ooh. All right. So yeah, test. I think he mm. he just gives he just lowballs you the whole time, mm -hmm. and like none of you like you guys don't go over to look at the wool or anything. He just like, tries to eyeball it from the the steps, and let's see here, mm -hmm. and he just buys it from you like fair and square, right? So, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to like eyeball my own wares by volume and not by weight. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, because because I put it in here, but I didn't like crush it down or anything. I'm just like, that's a big pile of stuff. Because mm -hmm. you're a little drunk, mm -hmm. you forgot how fluffy wool can be. Yeah, exactly. I've only done this once before, too. I was like, oh, that, that looks big, but it looks big, but when I get it into the barrel, it's all going to fit in, like, one barrel. Like... Mm -hmm. It's going to cook down. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to mm -hmm. cook down. It's going to be... It's not that much, but you worked hard. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to give you, I think, three cash dice. That's decent. Decent. Now we can go crazy with cra cash dice, and we have in the past. So I, I, I want to do cash dice, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um. But you know, you could get you could get better if uh, you had won the killing test. And also, like you just don't have that much to contribute to the town now, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can't do that much mm -hmm. with three cash dice. It's true. It is true. You can, I mean, you can do some things, but I mean, maybe, maybe three things. <laughs> 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 or one thing all at once. We, we've we've yeah. seen that too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But 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 what I'm saying is is maybe maybe one thing like maybe three things like no more than that for sure. Yeah. Um. Cool. Sure, I cannot find cash or cash dice shake out in the book. So great. Sorry, what are you looking for? I was looking for like a good, decent table of what things are worth how much cash dice, and all I could find was resources ops. Yeah, there's right, nothing because worth you cash don't dice. spend cash dice, you make a resources test and mm -hmm. you use a cash die to bump up your resources for that test only. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you just are like, well, here's a cash die. 
that equals some anything because <laughs> right. it, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't um but yeah you you'll be able to spend those later i have nine cash die oh my gosh i forgot about those maps you guys mm-hmm. get plus two they had your plus two in for selling the whale parts uh oh did we get those too yeah everybody gets those oh sweet so actually that means i've got 11 cash dies means i have five yeah nice all right, so I feel like that's a good place to end this scene. Um, I think so too. You you get you get drunk, and he gets high, and you go home. Um, my favorite pop song. <laughs> right, right. You get drunk, he gets high, you go home. Right. It's good. The worst party ever. <laughs> right. Good, good, good let's party, uh, good yeah. Let's see yeah. what Ashlyn's doing. Um, Ashlyn. Yeah. I need to, <laughs> to harvest some things. In my yeah, you want to harvest? So, yeah, I think you get like a lot of people from the town helping you, like four or five families. Mm-hmm. Um, you've been fairly friendly with everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, Every day, I just give them those wild berries. Wait, it's it's, it's fall now. It's mushrooms. <laughs> Every day you get mushrooms, it's fine. You get mushrooms? Yep. Everybody oh, what was that girl's name again that you're marrying? Shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It might be important. I'm looking at all this up. It's Look, looking at my notes. My, I think it's on my notes. It's important. It on my notes. Uh, Rachel. Yes, Rachel. Okay. Shit, where are, where is my notes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see her anywhere on this. Oh boy, uh, man! Uh, Three weeks of <laughs> notes disappearing on me. It's um, Cantor marrying what's her face all over again. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I don't think Rachel uh, brought anyone to help. Like it's it's not like you get the feeling that Rachel could lean on people to get them to help through the harvest, but mm-hmm. I think she didn't because like. She knows you don't want her to oh, well, that's be that so way. Because you're right. I really wouldn't want her to do that. Like, yeah. But she know. helps herself with her own hands. Oh, those, you, you don't. Uh, you get the feeling like uh, she's not. She's not um, used to doing farm work, mm-hmm. right? She just. She just runs a bank all the time, mostly, and trades bags. Right, for money, right. money in bags for bags of seeds. Right. Maybe she knows Mostly how to cook, she and does. she can she can just make us lunch. Right. <laughs> uh, great. So yeah, me and some families, we're gonna we're gonna farm up my uh, we're gonna farm up my turnips. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be a farming test because you're going to direct people. Sure. And tell them, you know, what needs farming. Um, <clears throat> I think if you fail, it's going to be just going to leave a lot of turnips in the field unharvested. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. You got, I got a lot of help. Yeah. Is that gonna is that gonna boost it up for me? Yeah, I guess I so I should do right is um just give you more dice for help. Um but I think it's like a an OBS one test for turnips. Actually I think I had switched it out from turnips because tur- I think turnips was my spring crop. It was Yeah, it you, was you planted else. some trees? Yeah, but I must have planted something else in between. If we're harvesting, sure. Do you want to say you're harvesting something else? Yeah, more like. Are you uh, harvesting samurai? Pumpkin or (laughs) pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not samurai. Uh, Let's see here. My field is full of samurai, you guys. Totally, it's full of samurai. (laughs) Um, I mean, that's what happens with the peaches. Like the ninjas come, right? My my peach trees. Right. Right. (laughs) Um, go back to a really old music video. 
It did obs too for pumpkins. Sure, sure. And uh... um, we're gonna add a plus one obs for uh, just there being so many pumpkins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. But you get an extra plus one die because you have so many people helping. So okay. you get a two help dice, a plus one dice because you have so many people. And add that to your farming skill. Okay, so I get... And like I said, if you fail, you just leave some of the turnips in the ground. So I'm gonna, I get two helping dice? Yep. And then plus one ob. So... And plus one advantage die. And plus one advantage die? Yeah. Okay, so a total of plus three. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on, farming. Modifiers plus three. Uh, no Artha base ob is also three, and I've got oh oof uh, ouch mm. it's not worth it uh, it's not it's not worth it so I'm not gonna some of my some of my pumpkins are left in the field to rot we just couldn't get yeah. Them yeah so people like pick up a lot of pumpkins um but either a lot of pumpkins are just small mm -hmm. and hiding in in the pumpkin vines mm -hmm. or they look some of them look rotten or um yeah. there's mice living in some of them right. and they don't want to have mouse pumpkins. Want Nobody wants mouse with pumpkins. The mice. They've got their own little house in there now. Yeah. So we, we can just let them stay in their little pumpkin house. But yeah, I think uh, I think you get pumpkins. Um, and Rachel says, "Oh, well, if that's enough, that's enough. We'll go get the pumpkin seeds, and next year we'll have an even bigger harvest." gotta keep looking forward to the future yeah um and maybe maybe after the festival we can get more help and we'll harvest all the rest of the pumpkins and just run them down for their seeds that's a really good idea yeah even even the uh my, my the mouse house i can i can take the seeds from them. they they don't need the seeds they just have a little house in there it's a good idea I think she's like is looking at you like, hmm. You to figure out how you're going to get the seeds out without disturbing the mouse. I think she just says, how are you going to get the seeds out of the pumpkin without disturbing the mouse house? Well, I mean, they're, they're not home all the time. And just, you know, I just, just, we'll just take the seeds and they can just go back to living here. It'll be fine. Okay. I guess we could try that. Definitely. I think that's yeah, they're just nice, right? Good idea. You know, they they may just be mice, but they're they're an important it's important 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 mice. Okay. Um, have you told Rachel that, that you are that I am the <laughs> the, the, chosen, the prophet of the, the prophet the of the harvest goddess chosen one. Uh. Yeah. I don't think so. I mm, I don't think it's really come up. Maybe maybe now. I mean, have you not. told nobody in the town? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I told the town singer, and that was part of. Yeah, you I told the me. singer, but I don't, but I don't think, think she told anybody. I don't think she believed me. Right. And I think maybe that's part of why, like, even if even the town singer who is is getting her power from the harvest goddess is is not believing me why is why would she believe me right maybe. okay so she doesn't know about that maybe i'm crazy um okay all right so i think um hmm yeah, we want rachel to cook and uncle bish is he's just in bed during this whole thing um he's he's gotten you know he's getting worse and he he just sits and he just lays in bed all day and you know usually if you bring him 
dinner, he'll wake up enough to talk to you, but he's sleepy all the time. Mm. Um, but I think Rachel brings, like, she takes some of the pumpkins, mm -hmm. and when you guys start, and when you're finished, mm -hmm. you can all smell, like, pumpkin pies and pumpkin seeds cooking inside the house. Oh, yeah. Sounds amazing. And, yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's a, a good time for our second break. Sure. Yeah, that's a good, like, us all coming home to some delicious smelling pumpkin stew and all that good stuff. All right. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let me give us another five-minute timer. And uh, where did my timer go? Oh, 